In the desert, the bones of the earth are exposed. The land is made raw and clean. Most people think the desert is without water, but every living thing you see is indeed a piece of water, a small stream or a spring in the form of a cactus or a bush, and they are spiny and sharp to keep you from taking what's theirs. There are places in the desert where water emerges. These are rare spectacles of naked H2O exposed among rocks. You see, desert water, it's unlike water anywhere else. It brings your attention into sudden focus. I've hunted for it across some of the driest places on earth, and I've never failed to be amazed. And sometimes, it's just a frickin' pipe tapped into the industrial Phoenix water system, spewing out for the amusement of the wealthy. But easy as it might be to ridicule what's happening here, this is still water. It falls, and it eddies, and it curls. You watch it flow over rocks in a manufactured landscape, and it flows the same way that it might in the wilderness. This is what I most admire about water. Wherever it goes, it keeps telling its sweet, reflective story.